Engine oil is vital in order to keep all moving parts in the engine cooled and lubricated. Seals and gaskets are used to prevent oil from leaking out where engine parts join and where covers are attached. Gaskets and seals can fail for a variety of reasons. For example, as a result of frequent extreme temperature changes, prolonged lack of use leading to drying of rubber, or contaminants in fluids. The valve cover gasket is located between the cylinder head and the valve cover. If oil is seen on the exhaust manifold of the vehicle, it is usually a good indicator that the valve cover gasket is leaking. If oil is leaking into the spark plug tubes on an overhead cam engine, it usually indicates that the spark plug tube seal is leaking. Generally, this is replaced along with the valve cover gasket, as they are both placed between the cylinder head and valve cover. A leak from the camshaft or crankshaft seal will produce drips from the front of the engine. The timing cover will usually need to be removed to determine which seal is leaking. Camshaft seal leaks normally come from higher up on the engine and crankshaft seal leaks from lower down, although the moving timing belt may distribute the oil inside the timing cover, making it difficult to determine the source. A rear main seal leak will produce oil drips from the rear of the engine. This seal requires a great deal of labor to replace, as the transmission must be removed in order to gain access. Oil pressure sending units also commonly leak oil, and are usually found on the side or front of the engine. Valve guide seals surround the intake and exhaust valves and keep oil from leaking inside the combustion chamber. A common symptom of a leaking valve guide seal is a plume of blue smoke coming from the exhaust when the car is started. This is a result of the leaking oil being burned in the combustion chamber. If an oil leak is detected, it should be repaired right away. If an engine is starved for oil, bearing surfaces can be damaged and parts are weakened due to overheating.